you clicked this video because you wanted to make the best mac and cheese that you possibly could so without further ado we are going to get right into this recipe as usual all hands on deck let's go so we're starting off with just a pot of boiling water and some salt which i'm using kosher salt and some oil and i'm just going to go ahead and do this so that i can season my pasta without adding any extra salt once i am in the stage of putting my mac and cheese together all right so i salt my water a little oil so my pasta doesn't stick once that comes to a full boil i'll go ahead and add in my macaroni now you can use elbows 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 i prefer cavatappi but that's just a personal preference because i feel like everything sticks a little better but again up to you so next up after our pasta is boiled i'm going to go ahead and strain that and return it to the pasta excuse me return to the pot on a very low heat and the first thing i'm going to do is include my butter into the recipe so i'm putting my butter in first because the natural heat from the pasta being so piping hot from just boiling is going to allow this butter to melt as well as the assistance from my very low flame so after i've gone ahead and melted my butter completely i'm now going to go ahead with my only additional seasoning here which is some black pepper and i'm going to stir that black pepper in and again i'm just going to add a dash more black pepper you're going to season to taste but i wanted you guys to get a really up close view of this so you can see exactly what's really going on inside my pot all right so once you've seasoned your pasta to your liking again i'm going to just stir this up and after that stir we're going to move on so the next step is our cheese again our pasta is still pretty much piping hot because we've just uh poured it out of this you know big old hot jacuzzi here so our pasta is still pretty hot and we also have that heat on a low flame we're getting to the basics and the essentials here the macaroni and the cheese we know why we're here all right so mac and cheese first things down all right we have our cheese building here i'm just going ahead and adding in additional cheese as i go i will put in the description exactly how many cups of cheese that you should be using or pounds however you'd like to measure it uh per you know my recipe but you will again do this to your liking as i always tell you guys you're going to cook to your own liking so i'm just adding this cheese in and then going ahead and slowly stirring this up again my pasta is still really hot so you'll see that cheese is just melting and sticking onto our pasta so perfectly and this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship guys so just stay tuned so i'm adding in some additional cheese here but i'm not going to stir this in just yet because our pasta is getting a little harder to move around in our pot now as you can see it's more difficult and sticky because although our cheese is melting we need some moisture added into the mixture now so here we are going to add this carnation milk again i will add in this description uh just how much carnation carnation milk that you need this is evaporated uh, milk guys so you will find it in an aisle as you can see it's in a can <laughs> not condensed milk okay do not confuse the two guys this is carnation evaporated milk um so now i am going to go ahead and just begin giving this a stir as you can see there we are building on a cheese sauce coming together this is going to be so rich and so decadent and just i'm telling you you cannot go wrong following this recipe absolutely not this is i'm a new york girl but this is coming from the deep south okay like this here is foolproof so um again i am now that i've you know got some more moisture going on in my pot from adding in my cans of carnation milk i'm now going to begin adding in some more cheese this is we're going for it okay this is mac and cheese like we we go in the whole 10 yards like this is the real deal so don't be stingy um so for this recipe that you guys see me doing here i am just using some sharp and mild cheddar however um you know you guys can definitely switch it up i have a dedicated six cheese blend that i love over oh time you get quiet for the soundtrack it's all there it is all there we're not even done yet <laughs> so um yeah you guys can use the blend of cheese that you would like but again I just used mild and sharp for this uh, recipe, but 
again, you would follow the same steps. So we flashed through a couple things there. We are adding some egg in. As you see here, I used six eggs because I'm making two half pans. So it's about three eggs per half pan. And I'm adding the eggs last because as you can see, uh, we've already added in a lot of other ingredients into our dish. So with us having added in that cheese and that butter, the pasta is cooled down now because we don't want those raw eggs to cook. All right. So that's why we add those eggs in toward the end. Do not just throw everything in the pot. The order of these things is very crucial. All right. So I'm now adding in my mayo here. Do not question it. Just listen and do as I say. All right, just you here for a reason. So do as I say. Thank you kindly. That's some mayo and also some mustard. Again, you can check the description for full details. And here you'll see I'm just going ahead and combining this all together. Let me get the sound check. Get into the sound check. It's all there, okay? It is all there. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead. Now that we've got everything completely combined, we want to go ahead and begin to layer this into our pan. And so just go ahead and stay tuned. Soak up this satisfying moment as it is. And I'll be right back with you guys. So I have my greased aluminum pan here. You can grease with butter, Crisco, oil, whatever you prefer. Olive oil spray. I mean as you prefer guys i personally use a uh, vegetable oil or butter uh, preferably butter and uh so after i begin just layering this in you'll see i covered the bottom and now i'm just going to add in a layer of additional cheese that's right i said it, an additional layer of cheese what are you going to do what are you going to do add it thank you <laughs> all right so i'm going to go ahead and layer this mac and cheese up just one more time and uh, then I am going to top that off with, you guessed it, another layer of cheese. And finally, after I layer that cheese, I'm going to put just a little smoke on top. We don't want all the smoke. So just a little paprika across the top. And that is going to be it for our mac and cheese recipe. And I swear to you guys, this is so foolproof. I get tons of compliments on this. Tons of people love this mac and cheese. I would not lead you astray. Please try this recipe out. Let me know oh, what you see me here adding, guys. It's just a little uh, mozzarella. That's what that white cheese is. It just gives it a little look. Okay, like I wouldn't lead y'all astray. I promise. Try this recipe out. Let me know how it goes. I really want to know um, down in the comments, guys, if it was a hit like it always is for me. I'm going to bake this here at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes keep an eye on it this is what it'll look like after about 10 minutes and then this is the finished product this is fresh out i just want to give you guys a look at what that is like do you see it it's all there okay it is all there and then we're going to go ahead and let that set and just get lovely of course as always thank you guys for watching like and subscribe for more and i appreciate you all